traditionally patients with who are urgently unwell come in through the emergency department either they walk in or they come in by ambulance but if you've seen your GP first or been uh, assessed by 111 and has been identified as having a medical problem then you can go straight to the right place which is a specialist medical area and they're going to deal with things like chest pain or heart attacks or stroke or pneumonia so you get straight to the right place um, and so they'll also take people that have been uh, assessed as having those sorts of problems as coming through the emergency department so it's a specialist area adjacent to the emergency department that has a specialty in dealing with people with medical problems. We do also have a, a, a similar area which deals with surgical problems and paediatric problems, but this is our acute medical unit which is dealing with acute uh, medical problems. What difference will this make to the to the flows through the A&E department? What kind of projections are you expecting? In terms of the difference it might make, first of all, Again, if you've seen your GP or 111 first, uh, you won't need to come to the emergency department. You can go straight to the acute medical unit. Similarly, if you come through the emergency department uh, and been assessed as having a medical problem, you can go to the medical unit. So you won't have to spend so much time on the emergency department. The emergency department, uh, hopefully thus, will see a, a more rapid throughput of patients because they'll be dealing with those patients that we don't know what's wrong with them at a very early stage and that's the job of an emergency department to provide that initial care and then the next step down when you've been identified as having a medical problem you're going to go to the acute medical unit so hopefully we'll see a faster throughput of patients and people will be seen uh, more quickly. We've seen in recent weeks and months um, ambulances parked outside all of Devon's hospital. There has been a case, for example, in Torbay. Will this um, change that? Will this um, help to make flows better through the hospital, do you think, down the line? The acute medical unit will undoubtedly contribute to better flow of patients through the system. Um, and that's the patients will get to the right place faster. And that will contribute. When we see ambulances queuing outside the hospital, that's really a reflection of poor flow and movement of patients throughout the whole system. So, for example, when we have difficulty in discharging patients from hospital because there aren't enough care home beds, maybe because the care home staff are unwell, as with COVID recently, that is reflected in our inability to discharge patients, which is reflected in our inability to move our patients from the emergency department onto the inpatient wards, which in turn is reflected in ambulances queuing outside the hospital waiting to get into the emergency department. So yes, the acute medical um, unit will, uh, will contribute uh, to the flow of patients through the hospital. What time scales are you working towards now? Um, you know, when will when will the first patients be seen in this? Well, we're really excited about the development of the acute medical unit, which uh, we can see going up in front of us uh, every day. There seems to be a new development. Uh, we're hoping that uh, in the autumn, maybe October time, that we'll start seeing the first patients coming through the acute medical unit, which would be a really exciting time for us. Um, and we've been really lucky in that our League of Friends have very generously funded uh, some of the important medical equipment we need in order to treat patients uh, that we'll see in that unit. This isn't the only um, investment in the site at the moment. There's, a, as you alluded to a moment ago, there is a lot going on, isn't there? Can you just talk me through some of the other changes that are underway or in the pipe, in the immediate pipeline, please? Yes. Um, we're looking at the way that we deliver urgent and emergency care across the whole of the hospital. So in particular, that's how we're making upgrades to the emergency department itself, how that emergency department works in conjunction with the acute medical unit, uh, with the surgical receiving unit and the paediatric short stay units to provide integrated urgent and emergency care. We're also hoping and uh, looking forward to uh, a development if we can uh, secure the funding in terms of providing better experience for our patients in terms of elective care and that's part of our building a brighter future wish uh, to develop a new hospital uh, so that's in the early stages of planning at the moment but we're really hoping that we're able to offer patients a much better experience of coming in for planned care or sometimes called elective care as well